time. I thought I told you to close up shop and be ready to move off the island by nightfall. Yes, Captain Brennan, you did, but... But the... what, Sam? Can't I go down the loading dock for a few hours without coming back to find a major screw-up? Well, with all due respect, sir, Dr. Long told me to prep the field for detonation at noon. We're on a very slippery slope here, Sam. A covert military operation riddled with civilian scientists. You don't think it's that bad, do you, sir? I mean, I've all spent the last two years developing is defoliant and stuff can't even kill crabgrass yet. Where's their protective gear? It's 100 degrees out here, Captain. Don't you think the guys deserve a break? We'll get a break tomorrow. I'm not gonna take chances on the last day. Hey, Doc. What's up? I thought we wrapped the test yesterday. Captain Brenner is gonna shit if he finds out we haven't closed up shop. I had something of an epiphany this morning, Telstar. I eliminated the binary shell and I grafted the cobalt ion to the other side of the molecule. I think it might give us a significantly more rapid chemical ignition. It better. Mr. Sweeney, how goes it? Well... <clears throat> Costello's finished with a stability profile, but Abbott is still chewing on the load file. So reaction temperature is 50 degrees. Yeah. Your prediction was on the nose. How much longer for the range and power projections? Oh, I don't know. Uh, he's working, but there's a lot of data. Maybe another hour. We don't have an hour. We're already supposed to be shut down. Dr. Long. What the hell's all this about a detonation today? We're scheduled to be off the island tonight. And I changed the schedule. I don't work for you, Captain Brenner. Sweeney tells me you don't have computer confirmation. You know, Captain, if you hadn't spent so much of your career questioning your superiors, you might have found yourself with more gold leaf on your collar. This isn't some kind of pissing contest, Long. You may be in charge here, but those men out there are my responsibility. Look. This is a scientific experiment, okay? If it works, your stock at the Pentagon will go up along with mine. I don't think I need to mention you could use the help. The NSA thinks the UN is onto your work here. The White House is screaming about chemical weapons, and we're sitting here with our hands in the goddamn cookie jar. And let me tell you something else. I didn't join the service to let people like you turn the United States into the kind of country we're supposed to be fighting but against. But you have no choice but to follow orders. Now listen to me. Now, I know you have moral objections to what we're doing here, but believe me, if I thought there was any real danger, I wouldn't go forward. You have my word on that. All right. One more shot, provided we're off the island tonight. Let's proceed. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis is approaching the stage. <clears throat> Safe distance, 200 yards. And make sure Hemmings hears you say it. <laughs> 200 yards, Hemmings. D minus five. All right, we're moving out, man.
Thomas, Dr. Long! I got 8,000 yards. Radius is five miles. What? Long, what the hell? Abbott's predicting the effective detonation radius is five miles. That's the entire island. We gotta shut it down. We gotta shut it down. God, I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. No! No! Colonel, no! You'll kill us all! Damn you, Long! My people are out there! Your people are out it's there! It's too late! It's too late! opinion of this review panel that the verdict delivered in this case is justified and that you are in fact guilty of criminal negligence resulting in the deaths of 18 members of a military research team on the date of August 18th 1987 it is also this panel's opinion that the sentence of reduction in rank forfeiture of all pay and allowances and 10 years in the United States disciplinary command at Fort Leavenworth is justified furthermore you were advised that while you are a prisoner, you remain bound by the National Security Act of 1947. If you divulge classified information or discuss the nature of the project in which you were involved, you will face further prosecution. Do you understand? I assume your silence indicates assent. Transfer to Leavenworth will be immediate. You're dismissed. Andrew, I wish they would have let me say something about... There's nothing to say, Doctor. Someone had to take the fall and they still need you, whereas I have never been anything more than a thorn in their collective side, as you once said. So I'll be locked safely away in some hole along with my secret sins. And yours. Ready? Trying to figure out your secret. My secret? Yeah. Ten months we've been fishing this river together. We use the same equipment, more or less, but you pull twice as many fish out of the water as I do. And I'm good at this. Been doing it since I was a kid. But you, I don't know. Somehow you think like a fish. No, <laughs> that's not possible, Mason. The trout. He's a perfect hunter. He's the master of his realm. How can we ever hope to win against the trout? 
There's only one way you can do it, Mason. Turn the power of the hunter against him. Tie a fly, create a piece of bait that sends the fish's instincts into overdrive, forcing him to strike. And only then does our noble friend realize that the prey can bite back. And that power without caution is death. Some people might say you're reading an awful lot into a simple thing like fishing. Some people might, but I don't think you would. Here. It's about time. Damn it, Mason, of all the days for you to show up late. First, the idiot April calls in sick. Then I got a bad tooth. And then my nightman shows up when he feels like it. Darlene, it's 5.30. Now, I worked late for you this morning, and you didn't want to spring for overtime, remember? Oh. Well, I have got to get to the dentist before he closes, which means you're going to have to cover the grill and the floor. I can handle it. It doesn't take a genius. <sighs> we do today, Doc? Oh, caught a few, lost a few. <laughs> Story of my life. Uh, one thing you won't lose is that friend of yours back there, I'll tell you that. Oh, no? You're two of a kind, Doc. Well, he may not have your sheep skins, and uh, most of the time he looks like something the cat might have dragged in, but he's smart enough to get you somehow. There's something else, too. Uh. We both like to fish. Secrets. His, I know. Yours, I don't have a clue. But if it wasn't for you, I think he'd have drifted right on through this town. You know, I have yet to get a simple cup of coffee and a meal in this place, Darlene. And you ain't gonna start now. Mason? Yeah? Be sure you feed Bosco, and don't give him any ice cream like April. It gives him gas. And make sure there's two pots, pots of, of coffee, coffee ready for the morning crowd, crowd blows in. I got it, darling. Still taken? No, go. You look good, Richard. You look fit, healthy. Not at all like a man responsible for the deaths of 18 people. Is that why you're here? To blame me? Well, you could have saved yourself the trip. I know where the blame belongs. 
But I didn't put you in prison, Andrew. The government did that. Oh, I'm well aware of what the government did, I assure you. Actually, I've just come to say how grateful I am to you and the government. Grateful? Mm-hmm. Together, you gave me the opportunity to realize just how very wrong my life had gone. Do you remember telling me once that all through my career I'd never fit in? Well, you were right, of course. But after years of thinking the matter over, I began to see that the whole thing wasn't really my problem. What rational man could fit in with the sorts of things our government was doing? The sorts of things you've always done, Richard. Do you think I haven't seen the bodies of those men every time I've closed my eyes, but after you went away... Went I away? <laughs> went away, I like that. It's almost quaint. All right. After they put you away, I began trying to find ways of controlling the effects of the weapon that we tested on Horn Island. And let me guess, you failed. So far, yeah, yes. Why is it you scientists can create implements of destruction so quickly, but when it comes to cures and benefits, your speed is nothing short of glacial? Though at least you're trying, Richard. And if the road to hell is paved with good intentions, we know you'll find your way there quickly. And don't worry. It's not such a bad place. I should know after all. Okay, Doc. The usual. Doc. Good morning, Dr. Long. Hi. Morning, Doc. Awful early, aren't you? Couldn't sleep, Pump. Is everything uh, all right tonight? There's nothing going on out there, Doc. Except maybe the occasional fly fisherman. Hey, Doc. I want to try this one out sometime. Nice one. Colonel Brenner, I got an appointment to see Dr. Long. Can I see some ID, sir? Video lock. You got 30 minutes. Forget about him. Let's find the prize. Wrong. Wow. 
We're in. This is it. My boss dog? Okay, 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 okay. At least somebody likes this shit. Trying to get most of my day done before it hits 90. Where's Sam? Sam? Andy gave Sam a nice big desk to park his fat ass behind. Where do you want this stuff? Freezer in the back. Art? Morning, Mason. Two large coffees to go, OK? All right. So, Mason, last Wednesday night, uh... Were you out uh, drifting around like the trash you are, or were you here working? It was Wednesday night I was working. You recognize this young man? Oh, is there a problem? You find yourself wearing a badge someday, then you can ask the questions. Until then, you answer mine. Got that? So you don't remember selling this young man beer Wednesday night? I don't sell beer to minors. Take that kind of thing seriously. That's not the way I hear it. Matter of fact... easy, Pappas. Mason, this boy says you did sell him beer that night. Yeah. Well, he's lying. Lying? Mason, you wouldn't know the truth if it bit you. We've got your whole record. <laughs> we know about the, the conviction for vagrancy, public drunkenness. I didn't sell the boy any beer. Shut your mouth until I tell you to talk, son. You know, I got to tell you, that really bothers me. Somebody calls me son. Then how about if I call you asshole? All right, both of you, just cool off. Look, Mason, maybe the kid showed you a fake ID or uh, you forgot to check. I didn't forget to check, and I know how to spot a fake ID, especially from a little geek like that kid. That little geek is my son. All right, enough. Look, Mason, I don't want to hear about you selling alcohol. I didn't sell any I'm alcohol. I'm not saying you did. did, just don't, OK? You make sure you keep your nose clean. We won't have any problems. Let's go, Pappas. I said, let's go. You got a problem, too? No, sir. I've never seen this guy before. <laughs> sure as hell met a few assholes like that, though. <laughs> you got to learn to lighten up when the man's in your face. That's my business. No argument there. Guy's a fucking moron. Hey, I'm with you on that one, my man. Prick. Look, you need me to sign an invoice or something? Uh, between this month and last month, you owe $417. And we need that in cash. Since when does Darlene pay you in cash? Since today. New policy. Yeah, well, Darlene didn't say anything about it to me, so tell Andy to bill her like usual and let them sort it out. Move. 
Well, he told me to collect cash. Andy, another fucking moron. Hey, you and I are seeing eye to eye on a whole range of issues this morning. <laughs> uh, huh? Except for the fact that I need cash. He could have called first. He could have. That's, that's true. But that would have been smart and fair. Two things Andy is not. Uh, but I tell you what, being that it's cash, I'm going to give you 10% off. Say, uh, 375 Seeing that we both have so much love for Andy, I tell him I lost a few cartons coming over the mountain. That'll make up the difference, huh? Huh? Well, Darlene usually gives me a signed check for emergencies. I could always oh. give you that. No, 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 no. Wait. Night shift, see? A check is not cash. <sighs> cash got a whole lot of numbers on it, pictures of old white men with messed up hairdos. That's what I need. All right, all right. I'll, I'll go you one better. 275 and I'll tell them you make up the balance next month. Huh? Stop! Oh, oh, Jesus. Hey, hang on. Hang on. What the? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Is that his truck? Yeah, that's my truck. Mason, you have to take this to Fort Magruder in his truck. Wait, this town is full of trucks, nice new trucks. You don't need to go take my son. You need your truck. Call an ambulance. Mason, no, there's no time. I don't see it. Turn around at the gas station, look behind the buildings. So you called the damn thing Elvis? I had no idea how powerful it was. 18 men were killed in seconds. But just a f f fraction of what's here. It's all Mason. But now the man who did this, he's, he's coming after it. You, you can't let him have it. You have to have to get it to M to Magruder. Hey, I changed. If you make it $150, we'll call it a day. There. Check it out. Carl, the main phone junction, move. This is already affecting our schedule. Venice, radio the bikes. I want to know if so much as a squirrel comes up that road. Yes, sir. The compound has to be kept cold, or it'll ignite. Cold? Cold? How cold? Never let it reach 50 deg degrees. Now, what if it does? Everything will die, Mason. In seconds, everything for hundreds of miles. That's why you need his truck, Mason. the immediate area. This was supposed to be a quick in and out. You have 10% of $100 million coming your way. I think we can impose on you for a little overtime. You're the only one I can trust. The only one who understands what this means. Doc. Doc, wait. Doc, wait. Wait, Doc. <clears throat> Sorry, man, he's dead. After five... Phones are down, sir. Bomb, look, look at the end of the street. Find out and work your way back to the hotel. We gotta get help. It's dead.
Morning. Is this your establishment? Yeah, they call me Darlene. Well, then how about a cup of coffee, Darlene? Iced coffee. I assume you want that to go. Assumptions are always dangerous. It's quite a get up for Jack and Deer. I beg your pardon? Hey, you want to hunt out of season, it's cool with me, but most people, they just take a six and a rifle. You, on the other hand, look like you're after something more dangerous. Actually, I was just looking for a restroom. I assume you have one. Assumptions are always dangerous. There is one in the back. That was quick. <laughs> to tell you the truth, we're looking for a scientist who's gone missing from the tech center. Maybe you know him, Richard Long. We're worried about him. I'll keep an eye out. Doc Long. Doc Long, yeah, I know him. Weird old guy, he comes in from time to time, yeah. Not tonight, though. Odd then that his car should be right outside. Like I say, Doc Long's an odd guy. Say, General. That'll be 50 cents for the coffee. I say, dude in uniform, get in your face. You do not shut your mouth off. I need your truck. Oh, no, no, no. You don't need my truck. You need somebody else's truck and a shitload of ice. Look, if I don't get this stuff to Magruder, it's goodbye Andy's ice cream, goodbye Jerome, goodbye Montana. Wait, you don't believe the dead guy, do you? Yeah, I believe him. He was my friend. I'm crying out loud. Hey, listen. You know what I think? I think he's a wacko, and I think that GI Ninja is a bigger wacko. And I think you're the biggest wacko of all wanting to be a part of this wacko shit. I need your help. You are seriously mistaken if you think you are going anywhere in my truck. Then you drive me to Magruder. Look, I got two tons of the world's nastiest ice cream sitting in a truck that should have been retired 10 years ago. That shit will be worthless by noon. <sighs> and if that Elvis shit is as dangerous as you seem to think it is, I'm getting my ass as far away from you and it as possible. Peace. Fine. Slapped it right off his neck. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, look. You want cash? You want cash? I got like, uh, I got, uh, I got 50 bucks. I'll get more. I'll rent the truck from you. You can go, you can stay here, whatever you want. No. All right, then how about this? And you won't piss me. What the hell are you supposed to be doing? I need your truck. You are not taking my truck. How far you got to go? Go. Move it. Go on. God damn it. Could you hurry up? Now put this in the back. Keep it safe. Come on, let's go. Could you keep it safe? Yeah, I kept it safe. <laughs> Yeah, I was with you, dog. He's the one with the damn gun. You gave him ice cream, didn't you? Come on. Yeah, keep him off my ass. What'd you do that for? It makes him mean as a snake. That dog was mean before he met him. Okay, mean? I, I will get stump your ass. I will bust a mud hole in your ass. I don't, don't tell me to shush. It's none of your business, man. I can talk all I want. Just shut up. Are you kidding me? Come on. Damn. What the hell's going on? It happens to this piece of shit all the time. 
damn diesel injectors are excuse flooded. Me, excuse me, can you fix this? You want to give me a minute? Well, if it's national security, I guess it's okay. I just hope we don't bust in on anybody doing what people do in motels. <laughs> Wait for me here, sir, if you don't mind. Tell me to get in the truck. I'll get that ass in a minute. Wait. Better car suit down. Clear. <laughs> there he is. Hold it, I hear something. Get Brenner on the radio. Come in, command. Trucks just passed. Checkpoint, over. Run that back. I mean, has it. Well, sir? This transmission just came in. Well, it appears someone's been lying to us. Potential customers have been informed of the delay. Any further orders? So, a pair of average citizens have decided to risk their lives for their country. I almost remember what that feels like. No signal. Suppose you're gonna shoot me because you can't get service on my cell phone. Billings, no, no, no. We need to go to Magruder. No, you gotta go to Magruder. No, 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 no. We gotta go to Magruder. I go where the truck goes. No, no, no. To get to Magruder, you have to go through Missoula. And I ain't going through Missoula. No way. We're going to Magruder. I ain't going through Missoula! Am I missing something here? Look, 
I kind of borrowed the truck from Andy. Borrowed? Yeah, borrowed! You stole this truck. You stole this truck! I did not steal this you truck! You stole this truck! That's what all the bullshit about the cash was, wasn't it? You stole this truck, and now you're trying to sell the ice cream for money! I didn't steal the truck! He owed it to me! Anyway, the important thing is, I'm not going through Missoula! I don't give a shit. If you go through Missoula at 100 miles an hour, we're going to Magruder. And remember, I still have this. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm about to get in your ass like last year's underwear, man. That's fine. I ain't playing now. Whatever. Show Pete this heat. Can't take it. Fine.
So you're sure it was Mason? Positive. He came out of the store with the ice cream guy. The men from the base, they took off right after him. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. It must have happened right after we left. Missoula is reporting the refrigerator truck as a stolen vehicle. I told you Mason was walking shit. Pappas, that other guy was unloading ice cream into a freezer. Now, what could he have to do with a military scientist, huh? The sooner you get up to the lab, the sooner you'll figure it out. And where are you going? After that refrigerator truck. Elvis is on ice again. Okay. Nice job back there. Hey, don't give me that nice job shit, man. We still got a van load coming. And what do you got besides an empty gun? I was thanking you, asshole. Kiss my ass! Going through. 911 emergency, please hold. You got it. They put me on hold. Probably because they know a psycho when they hear one. No, I'm not the psycho. Hey, take a look at your situation and reconsider that statement there, night shift. You're a psycho and a hijacker. Cut. The gun was empty. And every time I look at you, I want to hit you. You want to hit me? You know, I'm a peaceful man. I believe yeah. in living. Yeah, you stole the truck to uphold your principles, right? I did not steal the truck. It was owed to me. You stole the damn shut truck. Shut up, shut up. It's beeping. Well, then that means it's call waiting. You snatch that hey, from me one more hey. time. And these ice cream. Dutiful citizens, you have something which I have waited years for. Give it to me now or you'll be dead within five minutes. It's for you. Yeah. Contrary to what Dr. Long may have told you, this is neither your concern nor your fight. Relinquish the package and you can go. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. What'd you say? Don't be tedious. Dr. Long called it Elvis. You have no idea what you're in possession of, do you? Listen, shithead! I got $3,000 of highly perishable ice cream product that tastes bad enough when it's frozen. So if you don't Just give me Elvis and I'll make sure you have enough money for a dozen ice cream trucks. I don't ever want to see another ice cream truck in it! Goddamn. Talk to me. I want you to look at one another and ask a simple question. Are you actually prepared to die for a country that's never done a thing for you? Because if you don't give me that cylinder, your lives will end on this miserable road to nowhere. And I can't guarantee the end will be quick. Elvis is fucking dead, man. Get yourself some CDs. Bomb. Get the M79 ready. You can't fire on them. You're gonna detonate the crystals. Prep the launcher, now. Now! Back up! Back up! Oh, 
Come on! There it is, OP! Come on, baby! Right, you got it, you got it! Go, go, go! Got it, got it, got it! You can just bend over and kiss your crazy ass goodbye, buddy. I think we can make it. You think we can make what? You see that truck? Eight and a half feet wide, weighs over five tons. Hey, and what if we don't make it? Your weed killer on steroids goes down with us, everybody dies. I don't think we have much of a choice, do we? Oh, shit. It's trying to move. Oh, shit. Okay. Unbe fucking leaveable. Oh, Pete! Oh, oh, please, Pete, please don't do this to me. Okay. 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 I should have had that dog bite me. I would have got rabies. Could have went to the hospital. Had a pretty nurse. Hey, hey! Woo! Okay. Go, go, go. go. Idea. Hey, hey, what's going on here? You guys all right? Stay back. 
Stay back, I'm listen, taking your boat. Listen to him. You don't know who you're dealing with. I'm a dangerous man. He's a dangerous man. He's crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. What are you doing? Taking it downhill. What? You're not dangerous, you're crazy. I ain't getting this in here. Stay here. Nothing in here, sir. He got away with it. All right, let's clear the mess and move out. Uh-oh. What? Thing just went up a degree. Ice cream's not working. This river's fed by a glacier. I'm willing to bet my life it's a good deal under 50 degrees. What do you think? <laughs> Worth a try. Hey, you didn't happen to lock the truck up when you got out, did you? You're fucked, man. See, now why would you do that to a man in my position? Hey, I didn't steal the truck. You stole the hey, truck. I told you, I did not steal that truck. Andy owed me a lot more than that four-wheel piece of shit was worth. I won't even start after that. You know what I'm saying? I deserve a lot more than that truck. Ten years, ten years I busted my ass for that fat rat bastard. And he swore, he swore once I got a degree, there'd be a sales rep desk with my name on it. But every time something opened up, there'd be some idiot cousin or nephew or some good old boy just ready to just slide him right in there. What about me, huh? What about Arlo, huh? What about my needs? You know, I got, a, I got student loans, overdrawn bank accounts. Nobody looking out for my interest. I, my credit was fucked. And then when he promoted Sam over me, I just snapped. So I split. So you took his truck. So I took his truck. Yeah. This river ends at a hydro dam in Missoula. All we need to do is get to Mason before anyone else does. Carl, Dennis, get out of sight. Officer Papas, I'm glad you're here. Mind if you tell me what's going on? I'm Colonel Brenner, U.S. Special Operations Command out of Fort Bragg. We were called in by the Jerome base to pursue a man who's stolen government property. 
Right, Tim Mason. You know the suspect? Yeah, he's wanted in connection with the death this morning at the Jerome General Store. Richard Long. That's right. Long went missing from the tech center this morning along with a very dangerous chemical weapon, Deputy. I deeply appreciate your assistance on this. Who knows, might even put some more gold on that collar of yours. You know, four years ago, I was a split in the Kentucky State. We were nationally ranked. A wonderful thing. Started every game I seen you here. Not all American or anything, but not bad. Anyway, the real star was my best friend. Quarterback, got taken in the first round. Robert Del Rio? Yeah, Robert Del Rio. I remember him. And a car crash or something. We're celebrating after the draft. Going from bar to bar. I was driving. And then I put the car into a ditch. I spent 18 weeks in the hospital. He's never gonna throw a ball in the pros. Couldn't deal with it, so I split. And things sort of just went downhill from there. Anyway, about 10 months ago, I wound up in Jerome working for Darlene. Well, shit. Could be worse. I mean, we're both up Shit's Creek, but at least we have a paddle. We got two paddles. <laughs> Is the facility secure? Yes, sir, Colonel. There's four dead, but the security video is clean. It's a patched in feed. It's probably a loop. Deputy? Deputy, I'm Colonel Vitelli. I'm on special assignment. Deputy Art Lewis, Jerome County Sheriff's mm -hmm. Department. I don't suppose you'd like to tell me what this is all about. I will tell you what I can, Deputy. Colonel Vitelli, we got a busted in cold vault inside. Is it? Looks like it. Yes, sir. Alert 75th Rangers, code blue. Tell them Elvis has left the building. What the hell are you talking about, Colonel? The ID, the bodies? They were all wearing hardware. Any of them Richard Long? No, sir. I've got Dr. Long's body down at the coroner's office. One of our units is pursuing a suspect up to 35. Who's your suspect? A man named Tim Mason. Run a check, FBI Interpol. Yes, sir. If you're right, Lewis, this Mason is one hell of a pro. He must have a service record and a paper trail somewhere. Mason? No, he's a soda jerk drifter, a hamburger flipper. It could be a cover, I suppose. Whoever did this is a man who knows his business. Listen, Arlo, for whatever it's worth, I'm sorry I dragged you into this shit. To tell you the truth, you didn't. Not completely, anyway. Even if that gun was loaded, I didn't buy you as a shooter. It was your friend. Wrong. Something about that look in his eye when he talked about that Elvis shit. Well, all the same. If we get to Missoula, help me find the car. I'd appreciate it then. You can split. Split? I wouldn't get 10 miles. Like I said, I got a pretty good idea of what's at stake here. We need to finish this night shift. Hang on to your ass, Missoula. Arlo's back. And he's bringing the king. Well, that just about figures for today. So, where's my truck? It's uh, parked just off of Highway 35. I did what I could for you, Arlo, and you screwed me for it. 
Now, where's my goddamn truck? I ain't got time to argue with you today, Andy. But I can tell you this. Taking your truck pissed you off? Huh? You're gonna be real mad when I take the pickup. And so, Missoula's prodigal son returns. Hello. I got someone who's anxious to talk to you, Mr. Mason. I urge you to be persuasive. This country trained me to kill without compunction. Well, well, well. Funny situation, ain't it, Andy? Three seconds. One. You gotta help me, Arlo. Two! Did you get that tub of shit Sam to help you? Look, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. Whatever you want. Please! Gentlemen, I have never been known for my patience. Arlo! Arlo! All right, all right. Hey, hey! Hey! Mason. Yeah? Looks like you gotta cut a deal with this asshole. Even though it is nice to see Andy squirm, I don't want his brains all over my shirt. Or my conscience. Hey, and you owe me, man. Yeah, I know, I know. Still there, Mr. Mason? Yeah, I'm listening. Then meet me at the dam in 15 minutes and be intelligent about this. Tricks will cost lives. Create a piece of bait that sends the fish's instinct into overdrive, forcing him to strike. Everything all right, son? Yeah, just trying to remember something somebody once told me about tying a fly. And only then does our noble friend realize that the prey can bite back. We have those. Sir, I think you should take a look at this. Judging by the signature pulse and velocity, helicopters, maybe 15 minutes. Rangers, that was only a matter of time. Of which we have more than enough. His name is Tim Mason. Now he's got the acrylic container. Do we know what's inside? We don't need to know. Let's just get it back, all right? I don't see my container. You try anything, it goes in the river. It's a little late for matinee heroics, Mason. Just give me the container. Where's Arlo? Bring him here. Ah, you have nothing enough the pants. Fellow hero, untouched and unharmed, despite the mouth. Him first. Run!
Rangers. Let's go. You should have taken the money. Bullshit, you would have killed us anyway. Shit. Just when we have all the cards drawn, get these two behind the van. Move! gentlemen you know who I am gas masks gas masks gas masks the men on Horn Island had gas masks where the fuck is Horn Island was Horn Island was listen Arlo oh, hey shut your mouth If I drop this, Brenner. Wow, Lieutenant Vitelli. Good to see you again, Leo. Pleasant surprise. I can't say it's a surprise, and I certainly can't say it's pleasant. As soon as I heard Elvis was on the loose, you came to mind. I checked your release date. I never like coincidences. No, I don't like deviations from plans, Leos. I'm sure you remember. Colonel, sir! Who the hell is this guy? He was Major Andrew Brenner. We did two tours together in Vietnam. Until he got busted down the nurse mating scientists. Yeah, I had a small problem with members of our side murdering civilians. But I assure you, Leo, I lost all my squeamishness at Leavenworth. I'll have no compunction at all about using this. Hmm. Winds northwest, that ought to be Seattle. Or I may be wrong, breeze could be gusting south, that'd be Billings, maybe even Salt Lake, not to mention Casper, Destry, Fair Oaks. Knowing you, Brenner, you've got fires waiting to buy. You're not gonna use that here. I'm warning you, Leo. Don't test me. Get your men and your machines off my radar screen in five or three million people will die. I'll do it. Tell the choppers we're lifting off! Excuse me, sir? Your colonel's giving you a wise order, soldier. It's not over, Brenner. Sir, we just can't let them get Go away with this. You fight the battles you can win. Now, we've been outmaneuvered here. Brenner's next move is going to be to get Elvis out of the country and sell him to the highest bidder. To do that, he has to have planned an exit point. That's where we intercept him. That's where we make our play. Now, you and your men back off. All right, let's move out! They're taking off. Huh? They're leaving. We're gonna use them for demonstration footage. Having witnessed the effects myself, I can assure you it'll be very useful when the bidding starts. Get them in the middle of the dam. Sir. Up. Taipei is online. Geneva's coming up, and we should have Karachi and Kabul in a couple of minutes. All right. Tell the pilot we'll be a half hour. Go. Set up the camera. Dennis, we will open the bidding at one hundred million dollars. Ah.
It won't be long, gentlemen. And it won't be pleasant. But such is the price of patriotism. Bob. Hey! Hey! Shut up. We go die! Shut up. Everybody's linked up. All right. Clear the area. We're gonna die! Put your hand in my pants. What? We're gonna die? You want me to do some freakish shit on my shift? Arlo, reach into my pocket. Pay grinding on me here. How long is it supposed to take? I borrowed a truck! Oh, you borrowed, but I stole the truck and you borrowed! Geneva just pulled the plug. Kabul is out. Okay. Ah, come, on, come on! Pakistan says they'll be back tomorrow. And Taipei just went offline, sir. Mm. Go. That stuff with that lunatic. That's why I didn't give it to him. What? You got Elvis? Sometimes the prey bites back. Go! Go! <laughs> Taking up the hunt. Come on, Brenner, it's over. Nobody said anything about going up against Rangers. Besides, how are we gonna sell something we don't have? Nothing has changed, I assure you both. The army still thinks we got Elvis. They made a tactical withdrawal. It's just those two amateurs now. You really want to concede a hundred million dollars to them. With that deputy we met earlier, he'll be most useful now. We need more ice! All right, there's a service station on the other end of the North Ridge Tunnel. They'll have ice! Fuck! 45-7! Oh, shit! Come on, come on! Come on.
37, you better floor it. What do you think I'm doing? It's a damn postal truck! What the hell? What the hell? You gotta be kidding me. Let me see your hands. Oh! Pop it! Move the car! Move the car, please! Unbelievable. leaveable I said, let me see your hands now. Redneck idiot! Do you have any idea what's going on here? Yeah, asshole. I'm putting a murder suspect and a guy that stole a truck under arrest. Now raise him. Let me put it in easy terms, Aristotle. We are carrying a damn bomb that is going to explode if we don't get out of this tunnel! No sign of him, Colonel! Yeah. Mason, what is the temperature of Elvis? 47. If you're not out of there soon, I have got to seal the tunnel. God, they're going to see us. Why don't they talk to the sage of Jerome here? What the hell's a sage? Listen, Pappas, there's a colonel on the other end of this phone. His name's Vitelli. Talk to him. He's right outside. What happened to Colonel Brenner? <sighs> Listen, deputy. He's the dude the army guys are looking for! Bullshit. Put the phone down, Mason. I've had enough of both Wait. of you. Listen to me, Pappas. If you don't let us by, we're all gonna die in this tunnel now! Go check the temperature. Don't move! Shoot me. What's it say? 49.4. That's 49. 49? Colonel, we gotta seal that tunnel! Colonel! Night shift. What? It's melting, man. <sighs> Mason! Mason! Yeah! It's too late, Mason. I've gotta seal it. <sighs> right! All right! We're gonna seal that tunnel! I wanna air tight! What the hell was that? It's the army sealing us in. Jesus. What the hell is going on? All I had to do was get it on ice. Now it's over! Kiss your ass goodbye, Pappas! Ice? You want ice? I got a whole case of beer back here in the car floating in the stuff. Nail it up! Okay. We've got ice! What? Say again, Mason. I can barely hear you. We've got it on ice! We've got Elvis on ice! Hold it! We're too late. Oh, oh we're too late. Oh, shit. Oh, we're too late. It's working. What? What? It's working. Vitaly! Can we get out on your end of the tunnel? Negative! Negative! There's ammo fire from Brenner's vehicle! He must have had a damned arsenal in there! Well, hell, the smoke's gonna uh, kill us anyway! There's gotta be another way out of here. Uh. Hold this. Sorry. I think I found a way out. There's a vent shaft leading straight up. Okay, I'll have a trap for me at the top. All right, I'll lead him out. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Come on. Follow me. Come on, let's go. That's it. Hang on, hang on. Let's go. Let's go. Come up. Got it. Come on, dude. Come on, darling. I got you. Harlow, I'm going to get Elvis. You go. I'll meet you at the top. Okay. Come on, big guy.
No. Where's Elvis? Dead last time I checked. Kill him now. Oh, don't worry. I'm a professional. This won't hurt a bit. Well, I'm an amateur. And this is gonna hurt like hell. Some help getting the ambulance? No, oh, thanks. You know, we saved half a million people from a full body peel. <laughs> Where the shit? Big time. They aren't exactly gonna publicize this, Arlo. <laughs> hey, we're heroes, my man. It's time to start acting like it. Quit limping around like that. Excuse me, I got a bullet in my leg. Always the negative with you. All right, gentlemen. We're about done here. Fine job. Thank you. Your country and a lot of innocent people in it owe you. Us. Owe oh, us. You did help a little. Who drove the ice cream truck that kept Elvis cool? Who had to put a gun to your head? Who put the big hurt on that army nut job to save your narrow butt? You, Arlo. Hello? You. Right. You damn Skippy. And now that I am both jobless and, and, and truckless in the service of my country, I feel that my government owes me a little restitution. Us owes us. I'll handle it from here, sweet dick. Owes us a little restitution. We do have to take into consideration that through your courage and selfless actions, you did save millions of lives. Exactly. However, you are also non-enlisted personnel with detailed knowledge of classified secrets falling under the National Security Act. In order to protect those secrets, I am authorized to fine you, imprison you, to take any extreme measures I deem necessary, including the permanently extreme. I'd say we're about even. Patriotism is its own reward? I think so, too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, 
all that. No need to get in the man's face. I was crap. not in the man's me. face. I was negotiating. That's negotiating. He threatened to kill us, but he didn't. See, that's negotiation. That's bullshit. Bullshit, yeah. Well, if we're not going to be famous, at least this will be a great story to tell some ladies in a bar somewhere. Well, nobody's going to believe us. Nobody, nobody's even going to know this happened except for the people that were here, the army, you and me, and... You shouldn't be walking on that. Hello, somebody. Heard you saved a lot of lives. The army said it was a terrorist bomb. Oh, oh, I feel faint. Oh, 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 you got me, you got me. I got you. Okay. You got me. I got you. You know, it's, a, uh, it's very... Hush, hush, as we say in the spy game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It all started with our mission in Istanbul, you yeah. see. I was undercover yeah. as a tennis player. My code name was Blackjack. Night shift was my coach. I, I, I'm sorry, Mason was my coach. Uh, he handled the rackets yeah. and I carried the balls. Yeah. You see, because that, uh, that was my He's mission. using big balls. Though. That's right. Oh. Uh, ooh, that's it. Just grab, just put your arm, don't be afraid. Oh. You got a nice, strong grip for a woman. Yes, you do. Oh, right here. Here. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, and uh, do I have to get that's naked? a wonderful, wonderful walkie-talkie you got there. I don't have oh, to. Thank you. The city streets are dark and cold. Along the huts about to unfold. The neon lights are flashing by. A stranger's voice is whispering why. We'll never stop, we'll never give in Our fire burns like a violin We'll keep on playing Until the end A rock and roll will never bend We're living fast We're living loud Our hearts are beating like a drumming crowd We are the rebels We are the ones Music echoes like a thousand guns We're driving down the open road Our spirits high, our passion glowed We're chasing dreams that seem so far We're racing hell like shooting stars We'll never stop, we'll never give in Our fire burns like a violin We'll keep on playing Until the end, a rock and roll will never bend We're living fast, we're living loud our hearts are beating like a drumming crowd We are the rebels, we are the ones Our music echoes like a thousand guns We'll never stop, we'll never stop We'll never stop, we'll never stop Thousand guns.